so they look amazing right these funnels look amazing but do you really need all this hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about a course funnel we're going to talk about funnels in general we're going to talk about the course funnel and what makes it different from a sales funnel from a regular marketing funnel why do we even differentiate it and we're going to get to get into what makes a funnel a course funnel we're going to get we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets right so a funnel first of all a funnel what is a funnel and what makes a funnel a course funnel a book funnel a sales funnel a marketing funnel an email funnel a follow-up funnel all those different kinds of funnels it's totally crazy how many there are and when you're trying to build a business online definitely you get into the funnel creation you know area and it can be super confusing even though it's supposed to be simple and their gurus tell you it's really easy just go there and do this it actually is pretty complicated I know from experience even me as a as a tech person going into these tools starting to figure out how to set them up is daunting so we're going to talk about a course funnel why you need a course funnel for a course and uh, yeah kind of kind of go into that before we go into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're definitely going to want to go check out the video at cis409.js gagnon.com where I'm going to share my screen and you're going to be able to read the blog post and all that good stuff all right so before without further ado let's get right into what is a course funnel or maybe just even before that let's talk about what funnels are so let me just share my screen so one of the things you might have seen before is a platform called click funnels that basically when you create a one you when you want to create a funnel it gives you all these different options right webinar funnel daily funnel cancellation funnel last campaign two-step and when I, I I even today I still like when I look at this it's like oh my god that's totally insane I just have a course I want to sell a course what do I got to do what do I do a product launch funnel do I do a video sales funnel a live demo or a home a member like what do I do right I just want a course funnel <laughs> what's a course funnel before we get into that again let's kind of go through like if I look at the funnels I got this is called funnelizer another platform and by the way I can put links below for you to access or inside the blog post there can be links on these different tools and each of them has their peculiarities like you know with with the uh, um funnelizer personally I find the funnelizer a lot easier to set up a funnel but it's not say it's not as advanced which is one of the reasons why click funnels is so popular because it really lets you do some really nice things like if I look at some of the kinds of funnels that people are doing online right I mean if you look at these funnels they look amazing they they have so many different layouts so many different ways that they look they have different and you know they look amazing right these funnels look amazing but do you really need all this and maybe you do but at the same time it's the time it takes to actually create these funnels that's the crazy part it takes so much time to create all this do you really need to have such complexity and and maybe you do maybe you want this to be your funnel to look really good but you know what is a what really is a course funnel right what is a course funnel so I got a kind of a you know what's a course funnel why is it different from a sales funnel kind of let's talk about that a little bit before we kind of go on into creating one we're going to talk about creating one but before I do that let's kind of talk about what is it right so what's a course funnel a course funnel is especially made to sell a course well, you know obviously right it's made to sell a course an online course and that's all it does that's all it's meant for is to sell a course and it it should include course upgrades and your and you know things like for example um 
well we'll get into what I mean by that in a second it should include follow-up emails for those who didn't buy for those who did buy but didn't start and for those who complete so in terms of the actual funnel the funnel is uh, well here let's kind of show you what is a funnel if you look at dot com secrets right the book from Russell Brunson one of his first books well his first book actually he had other books but this is the first uh bestseller book that he published and it talks about what a funnel is right what's a funnel right a funnel is you want to capture leads and the leads become go through the sales process and then they go through the order process then they then you go higher up and the, the idea is that you always grow your sales through adding new people to this funnel right and ascending what they call ascending right you see ascending here going through the the funnel and the whole process is is the funnel right it's a it's a it is a big deal it's a complex thing a funnel is a lot of things and all these things have to be done just right so that the process works and inside of that process there's things like you know having a single thing to promote like your course for example if you have a course and you're trying to promote a, your course it's got to be about one thing and, and I don't mean that the course is about one thing although it kind of is because the one thing is what are you what is a student going to get out of your course right so you got to have this and that's when you're when you're creating your course that's part of the whole thing where you have to know what your course is going to be about right <laughs> and the course has to be has to go through that so far like if I look this is just the dot com secret doodles right they talk about these different uh, value ladders they talk about uh let's see if I can find a, an image of the actual funnels elements identity I'm just I haven't uh I mean I've gone through these books many times at least in audio format and I know that the Russell has these images see he's got these follow-up emails talks about that too talks about traffic talks about uh, let's see if I can find an actual funnel I mean if I look at <laughs> well here's an example that's a, that's that's a, fu a funnel is step one step two step three right um funnels are basically going through steps right this is an example of a uh, email sequence you send to people right so whenever you're building your funnel you should have an email sequence that's part of what they get when they first give you their emails right your funnel is ask for an email then offer your thing whatever it is and in the case of a course funnel you want to be offering your course right but why would they give you their email right why would they give you their email now you can make your funnel your course funnel just about selling your course right you say your course is 97 dollars or 250 or 500 or 997 whatever the price is you can have just the page that asks them to buy your course right the problem with that is that you're not going to get a, a, that many people unless unless you become this celebrity and everybody wants to do whatever you whatever you're offering right you need to build them up and that's that's part of what a funnel is a course funnel should not be just about selling your course because you know if I go for example to click eCourse and I look at the courses that are here right there's some that are free some that are sold if I just actually put the prices on let's just show the prices here I mean you can see the price is a hundred a thousand dollars seven dollars this is free this one's free so for example well creating your first course is a good example of a a course that's you know teaches you how to create a course right so if you go to that you see that it's free we just got to register and you can add it but there's no there's no like funnel there's no there's no capture page there's no nothing if I go to for example um this free ebook the top 10 simple online strategies this is an opt-in page the funnel is not this page right same thing with this this is an opt-in page to get somebody to uh you know give me their email so that they get this ebook right so what's the funnel the funnel if I look at this so I think I have it here preview yeah right here so this this funnel here has got all these pages right so whenever you're designing your funnel for whether it's a course or anything else you'll have to ha go through this kind of process to do it so that you know okay what happens when they put their email where, where does it go after they put their email does it does it 
show them another page well in this case it does right so this one the first page is this one we're seeing right now after they put their email in it goes to this page which just kind of says you, you know it's on the way let's just pause this video so it it, it has this little video and that makes them an offer right this is called an upsell right makes them an offer to buy this other thing right if and then after that there's another offer to buy something else and this is just an example right I'm not saying this is and obviously it's not like you know the oh my god gorgeous funnel whatever it's just very basic very simple I mean it's not nothing like these funnels right this this funnel here I don't even know I mean obviously this is Edison Chua here it's not it's not somebody uh, necessarily I know just I just was looking at this online and same thing with this and this is uh, Petro right Pedro Maria so this is you know very attractive looking funnels right and these are the things that you can do with something like click funnels um I I have a couple funnels I created with click funnels too but this is easier for me to just show you this uh where's the preview right here but the idea is that you have to think about all these things oh my god okay so when they enter their email like how do I how, how does a sales funnel map to a course funnel right what do you do with a course funnel that is different well that's what I that's what I'm talking about here what is a course funnel right so the course funnel is really just a sales funnel that has these things in it that if you really want a successful course funnel you need to be you need to be able to build them up because like not everybody's going to come to your course page and just buy it you know unless they know you already and so you could have just a simple page like that but what if you want a, a fully integrated funnel that's meant for a course what are the things you need to have in it right what are the things and it's this other than that it becomes confusing like you know try to upsell them another course for example or try to uh to sell them a subscription to click funnels or try to you know all these other things that you you can do in a funnel you shouldn't be doing in a course funnel because you're diluting their interest they're going to be like you know they you know one of the things that they say is that if you have too many options we don't choose if you give somebody too many options they're just going to not pick that's why a funnel is important and it's got to be one thing and it's got to be all you know all about that one thing right and so okay so let's go a little bit deeper in right so when I when I talk about remember a course can be a simple set of videos but it really should be multiple options and when I say multiple options I mean it would be good the best approach is if you have three price points right free because you want to be able to get their email what are they going to give you their email for and so that you can follow up with them right I mean if, if you don't have something you can give them so that they give you their email that's related to the course then they're not going to give you their email so you won't be able to follow up with them right uh, so that's why you need a free option so in in my case well no let's not even go there yet okay so then the next thing would be a low and a high price so low could be you know 47 97 dollars and high could be 500 or a thousand dollars right and this should be more of the same topic but in more uh like Russell Brunson talks about the different kinds of or the different ways you can teach something right so you can have just an ebook that kind of outlines your course material in a way that is enough if somebody wants to google it online or they want to search for it themselves you can give them an outline of how to go about learning whatever it is you're trying to teach them right so that can be a free thing the problem with that free thing is that they have to do all the work of researching and looking at different things and finding and you know there's it's 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 good that you give them a say a, an outline but it's not enough to really get into the topic and most people don't won't go out but still they'll give you their email because it looks good and it looks it's awesome that it's free and they love it right so they're going to give you their email so then you can follow up with them now by the way in in your course funnel you're going to want to offer the low ticket one whenever they give you their email for the free one right 
and that low ticket one would maybe be just a couple of videos of you explaining how to do maybe one or two of the things that you're teaching in this whole thing uh, for example I mean there's lots of different ways you could you could also make it it depends on what the topic is obviously but just think of it that way right where you have to have these three different levels without the three levels it's really hard to build up the funnels and build up the sales and put together the follow-up emails and all these different things right uh and and that's the thing right then you need to create a sales funnel for each upsells and, and lower upsells and lower ones right so that means like I say so in the free opt-in like similar to this uh one here where is it oh it's actually here so I mean in this thing here right there's there's all these different pages so these three kind of go together and then this one here is a master class offer which is a fourth offer and then uh one-on-one -on -one. and anyways whatever though I I wish I had a diagram to kind of show you how these all kind of fit together but there there's also pages that are based on if they said no to this maybe I offer this or if they say yes to this then I show this and uh, these different levels are shown and this is not really a course this is not a course this is a uh this was a 12-step a thing a 12 critical steps to online success thing that I put together a while like two years ago now <laughs> but the thing is that just to kind of give you an idea of the levels that you need right so if I go back to this uh you need to create a sales fund for each so for your free you need to have an opt-in page where they can put their email address and receive the free item and you don't want to give them the free item on the next page you want to send it to their email that way if they didn't get you the right email then they're not going to get it so you don't want people to be able to put a fake email because you want to be able to follow up with them right and one of the things that I've done in the past is in the free follow-up say it's a like the 12 step thing right the 12 success steps right so I actually send 12 emails to them those 12, 12 steps I send them those emails in the follow-up now that's not the perfect it's not the best or the most efficient thing but when you're getting started you can just do that right just split up your thing into multiple steps and then send them an email of each of those steps every day after they give you their email and inside of that you want to talk about the low ticket offer right either either at the end or it depends on you know obviously the context but you want to make sure that you offer them this low ticket the next version up sometime or most likely at the end of your sequence uh for those who did not buy it right so it it can be a little this is like I said it can be super complicated to get all this set up but if you remember it's step a step two step three four right if it's a if it's a step by step process you can get it done because for example if they give you their email you first send them the free thing right if they decide to buy the low ticket one well you don't offer them the low ticket thing at the end right even and that can be done using tags there's different ways to do it but it can be complicated to figure out so you could you could just send them the the the, the it doesn't it, it wouldn't be that such a big deal to send them the offer anyways they're just going to look at it they say well I already have that they might be like per, it might be preferable if you don't send them send them the offer if they've already had it but you know because the other thing is you should be sending them a low ticket sequence if they buy the low ticket thing right you shouldn't be sending them the same emails if they buy the low ticket then if you buy the free one so that's like I said you need to set that up with tags so you have to have a sequence for the low ticket or the free one I mean and then a sequence for the low ticket and then a sequence for the high ticket for each of the offers has to be a different sequence that takes time to do to set up to write up to put together and then you have to understand how to set up the tags but that is what a course funnel should be and so that you can actually you know sell your course because this is what's going to happen you're going to try to tell people about your course right you're going to try to tell people about your course and nobody's going to know who you are 
and nobody's going to even look at it because they don't even know who you are right but if you give them a freebie that gives them the chance to go and find out who you are before they even spend any money right and that's why it's so important to think of all this and put it all together and you know like for example if I go to click ecourse right here right um and let's look at actually I have do I have I think I have master of simple in here do I yep I do it's part of the so in click ecourse you can either have like you know these like say these free courses like this free course Facebook growth tools right here right that's a free course and it's basically something somebody can get it's just a bunch of videos I put together that has to do with Facebook friends for uh, sending friend requests and that kind of stuff so I put that together and I just put these videos like this so this kind of is you know the opt-in page for the course if I want to click on if I want to get this I have to register right and then I can continue with Facebook or enter an email and address right here I can put um you know a free Facebook uh, and I can just register as this and I'm just it's just gonna tell me send me an email I go back to my email and then I just go in here and I get that activation link and I just click open it and then when I go back well actually it's going to activate it right it's going to go in here and it's going to say successfully activated your account and it's going to go is it going to go to that course directly I forget whether it does that or not no I guess not uh but when I reload this page now now I'm logged in so now I see the course and I have the course and it's in my library and I'm logged in as this this you know user 708 whatever user I created right now and I that's it that's all this does right but that's just the beginning and like if I if I was if I if I look at another I have another course there's master so there's another course that has a funnel page on it instead of just the you know the the, the capture if I can it's actually this one here I believe yeah if I go to here this is the 10 simple online strategies master of simple which is what we were looking at a second ago which is just this funnel page now this one asks me for my name and email and then it'll send me the ebook that's inside this course which is down here this ebook is going to become you know something I this is a free course if I've got if I'm on the platform it's just added to my library like this right and now I have an error <laughs> but uh, yeah I'll have to look at that <clears throat> but yeah then I can just add that to my to my course I guess it did add it but it just gave me that error uh but yeah so now I have this so I'm kind of I I guess I'm kind of going all over the place here but my point was that if you want to have a course funnel you can create you know a funnel what if all this was all on automatic right course funnel can be created by just entering information like if I go in here and I create a new course when I'm creating a course I have to enter this stuff I got to put a title I got to put a summary I got to put a details and then I have to uh, specify the type of course I have to specify the header code categories cover image all these different things what if all that was enough to create your uh funnel for it right what if you could create the course funnel automatically and that's something that we're building in here it's going to allow you all you basically what we need is this information right we need this we need this that's all we need so we just need to know what are the follow-up emails for each of these three things right we need to know what are the levels what are the course upgrades what are the three different courses for example right you can make it really that simple and then of course afterwards you can customize it make it all pretty make it all better but the basics of a course funnel can be done for you imagine if it's done for you you just when we go to click funnels for example right and we look at this if I just say okay let's just say I want to create a it has I guess a, a course funnel would be a selling a product right so let's just go uh well actually that's not true because if I want to have a free opt-in it's not a product sales I'm not selling anything all I want is an opt-in right 
so what is it where where is that even classic funnel builders over here I don't know what that is oh right that's the one here so collect emails sell your product or host webinar I want to collect emails really my first opt-in for my course funnel needs to be just to collect emails right so that means I have to build this <clears throat> and then I want to sell our product afterwards so that means I need more than one funnel in this in the case of course click funnels right and it's great that I can do funnels like these right it's great that you can do funnels like these but it's uh, it's so much work to go through these different things and then connect them to the next thing and then you know have people go through uh, the process and all that craziness right what if you could do a funnel by just answering a few questions right that would be and then the, that would be the beginning of it and then making it look pretty and everything is you know the next step obviously <clears throat> but that that's what a course funnel is a course funnel is just it's uh, it's just this it's just it's just this this is all it is that's a course funnel right why is it different from an marketing funnel because it doesn't have all this extra stuff and it's if it's automated then it's it's done for you and that's kind of what uh yeah that's kind of what I want to talk about so watch this space as we go forward and if you have any specific requirements or you're or you're wondering about when it's going to be available or that kind of stuff just let me know go ahead and message me or or comment on this video and we'll let you know when it's available but it's coming soon all right have a great day and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time